when you're thinking about solids, liquids and gases, it's easy to find things for liquids. A little bit more difficult for gases, but actually solids are really difficult to think about. You ask most children, tell me the properties of a solid, and they'll say, they are hard. Well, no, they're not. So what I thought I'd show you is a really cool slime. I thought we'd have a look at something to do with solids, because I think that's really quite difficult to teach youngsters. I bet if you asked your class, tell me the properties of a solid, what would they say? Probably that they're hard. Yes, all solids are hard. Well, they're not, are they? And a really good fun way would be to make some slime, which is not quite a solid and not quite a liquid. Okay. Okay, so we've got um, things you can get hold of in school, mm -hmm. deliberately done that, particularly your old favourite, PVA glue. Yeah. The white glue. But I've diluted this half and half. So if you were making this for a whole class, it'll go a really long way. <laughs> so half and half, water, PVA glue. And then this stuff. Now, this is something called borax. Borax is a chemical, it's a water softener and okay. that sort of thing. You'll probably have to go somewhere like a hardware store to get it. You don't need an awful lot. And what you have to do is to put um, borax into water. But you have to put enough in so that it won't dissolve anymore. I've made a start on that, so I think it probably needs about another teaspoon. Okay. Okay? Fine. So it's, it looks a bit like salt or sugar. Mm. Give it a good Same stir. Yeah. Okay. And it's absolutely fine that there's crystals yeah. at the bottom that you can hear. In fact, that's what you want. Okay. Okay. So... I've got something for you to stir in. Mm -hmm. All you're going to do is you're going to have about five spoons of PVA, two of borax. But the measurements are not that accurate, so don't panic too much. Okay. Um, but white is boring. Uh, don't do boring. So I've brought some green colour mm, okay. as we're making a slime. OK, so um, five PVA, a few drops of colour, then the borax. OK, over okay. to you. Now, if... What's happening scientifically is if you were to sort of imagine the PVA as long strings of spaghetti, it mm -hmm. is a glue, um, the borax comes along and it forms like sort of little bridges between the, the, the strings of spaghetti and, and turns a liquid into mm -hmm. something totally different. Um, I think I'd use this also, let's make a totally new material that right. would fit in with that as well. Okay. So there you have it. Now, two borax. Okay. So hard. Um, Okay, and you will need a spoon because you've got to stir like mad. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you see, it's already beginning to get quite thick and mm -hmm. gungy. The more yeah. you stir, the thicker it will be. So okay. if you wanted it really, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's gorgeous. Um, <laughs> yeah. I think I think you need to get up close and personal with this one. Okay. <laughs> Just put your hands out like that because this is coming to you. Is it safe? Absolutely, yes. Okay. You'll need to make a little cup with your hands. Here it comes. Oh, gross. And if you gently roll mm. that, you'd have to be quite gentle with it. Okay. You, you're, the warmth of your hand finished off, off the chemical reaction, <laughs> actually. Now, if you were rough with this, mm -hmm. you could break it like a solid. Okay. But if you hold it and let it drop, it will flow like a liquid. Mm -hmm. you, yeah, I think that's about ready. Yeah. Have a little go, see if it will flow. So cool. Oh yes, yeah. that is quite gross. So there you have it. It's not quite a solid, not quite a liquid. Some slime. And if you put that into a, a plastic bag, you and your pupils yeah. will be able to play with that for a very long time. 